Then Doris is 24 years old. Hits his high end deep to center field. Pilar's on the run at the track. This ball is gone. Another leadoff home run for Lindor, his 32nd home run of the season. And just like that, the Indians have a 1 0 lead. You know, he's got some of the best hands, I think, in baseball, not just defensively, but when he is hitting. He's a switch hitter. He works very hard in the batting cages before the game and out on the field. Watch the hands work together with the lower half. How sweet is that swing right there? That's a 2 0 swing. On a fastball out over the plate for home run number 32. His seventh leadoff home run of the season. Russ Martin, he's Russ Martin. I mean, he's a terrific catcher. There's another fly ball to right, but then McKinney jumps, and this one is gone. Francisco Lindor has turned into a one man wrecking crew early in this ballgame. He's two for two with two home runs. Is it that easy? Does no. he make it look that easy or what? It is not that easy. No. He has just tied his career high in home runs in a season with almost four weeks to go. Home run number 33 on the season, second one tonight. And again, you don't have to be a big hitter, a big strong hitter to hit home runs. You have to have good hand eye coordination timing. Puts his head right down on that one and blasts it out of here. That's his eighth multi home run game. Kipnis with a 1 1 pitch. There's a deep drive to right. And this one's going to go. A three run home run for Brandon Kipnis. Kipnis has been swinging the bat great of late. That will give him 14 RBIs in his last 11 games. Terry Francona told him, hey, if you want to play, you got to be my best option. Yeah, and he just keeps hitting, and that's the best way to keep playing. 15th home run for Jason Kipnis. That was a no doubt about it. Geyer gets hit, base hit by Lindor, and then fastball breaks this one wide open now, nine to four. Well, Kipnis. Rumor to be moving to the outfield with the return of Josh Donaldson to the active roster and he said you know what. Let me make it tough on the manager and he has. You know what that's all you can control right. Reynolds launches one to left. See you later. He supplied all the power for that one. And his 13th puts the Nats on top. Great at bat. Fouled off some nasty 3 2 change ups and got one up and knew what to do with it. And Hendricks should have listened to Contreras and went with the fastball. Just like that, the Nats fight back. 3 2 lead. So Reynolds now 13 and 38, the power numbers. Start the third inning. It's six up, six down for Luis Castillo. Mejia, we mentioned making his first start. He had one pinch hit appearance, and he drives this ball hard into deep left center field. And that ball will fly out of here. A home run. Nice play by made by that young man in the seats. And Mejia. In his first start, in his first at bat, a home run to left center field. How about that? Well, he was just recalled from their triple A franchise El Paso on on Tuesday. Made his debut pinch hitting in the top of the sixth inning but boy oh boy he'll remember this one forever. It's his first major league home run. That one won't reach Batavia but it will reach the seats in left field and that's a solo home run for Renfro to make it two nothing San Diego. Only two base runners through the first three and a third against Castillo, but both hitting home runs. Yeah, none of them had to stop. That looked like a little slider right there. Could have been a changeup, but I think the slider that he just kind of hung right out there for Renfro, and he's got a big, strong swing. That is his eighth pulled home run in the last month. And now the batter is Mejia. 
High drive way back right field. His first start is a Padre in his first two at bats. Home runs a solo shot in the third a three run big fly here in the fourth. And the Padres a four run fourth inning with a pair of home runs lead five nothing. Ninety seven miles per hour down and in that's generally where a lot of left handed hitters like it. And Bahia clearly likes facing Castillo two at bats a home run to left center and a three run big fly to right. This girl got the ball. Shevler turns around this 98 mile per hour fastball, and that's close to that Toyota sign out there. I don't think it hit it. But for Shevler, number 14, and the Reds are on the board. He might have gone over that sign out there. Here's where it ended up right over the I guess the PNC sign which is just to the right of the Toyota sign. Pretty good location. Hit ball was hit a long way. That's too bad we couldn't give away that tundra. And this ball is tagged into right center field. That's another long home run. So the harder he throws it, the further they whack it. 6 2 ball game. Now, this was 97 miles an hour. Then it looked like Wing Jenner shook off whatever Mejia wanted at the plate and said, No, no, I'm going with the fastball right here. And Mason Williams is happy that he did. The top end of the zone right there. And so two runs here in the Cincinnati seventh inning on home runs from Shebler and now Williams. And it's a four run ball game. This is hit deep to left field. And gone. It's 4 0 in Atlanta. I gave you the numbers for the three catchers with the Braves against Zach Greinke this year. Somehow Brian Snitker settled on Kurt Suzuki and it's paying dividends already here in the fourth. A two run home run to left field to push the Braves lead to four to nothing. Well, Suzuki last year hit 19 homers. That's a career high for him. That was number 11 this year. Margo hits a fly ball deep to right field. Johan Camargo, his 16th, and it's 5 to 3. Jeez, we were just talking about Camargo in his previous at bat. Huh? He's one of those guys that kind of flies under the radar with all the star caliber players they have in the lineup around him, but you have to pay attention and you have to make good pitches to him. Misses badly with that big slow curveball right there. Misses badly down and in with a changeup. He takes one right down the middle and then launches one out into the pool. In right center field, our nationwide vision center's eye on the game. Yeah, Camargo, since the beginning of June, is the Braves' RBI leader. That's his 16th. Fly ball, left field. Well tied. Second makes it six to six. Oh, our 
Chaz Roberts air conditioning and plumbing cool play of the game. Jesse Biddle deciding to throw Goldie one more curveball in that sequence and he was all over. We've got Peralta the hitter Chuck Hernandez out to the mound to talk to Biddle. Diamondbacks with six runs five of the six tonight coming with two outs.